decorating a birdhouse from this birdhouse kit. And let's hope it's fun. Yeah. One second. Ah, uh, well, okay, I think these are the directions. Now I will open it. That's a nice color selection. Um, so this will be fun. Oh my, okay, step one, set up your work area. This is definitely clean, you guys. I'm not in the middle of an art project at all. Just kidding. Step two, assemble your birdhouse. Start with the back of your house and lay it down with the peg holes facing up. Okay. Okay. And I think you do it on the other side. Who needs directions? Probably me. Okay. Just start gluing this. This was a... I think that needs to be cut off. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, I got it all. Let's hope my cat doesn't find that need it. Let's hope I find it before the cat. Okay. Oh my, that's, that's glue. Let me just fill that hole up. But I took this green fabric paint. It's kind of like puffy paint because it dries up like it's thick, you know? Dimensional fabric paint is what it's called. So I took that and I sealed off the edges in that neon green color. There's really big gaps between the wood panels. So I just took that green puffy paint or fabric paint or whatever and filled those in a little. Um, and then, of course, I'll paint over that in the white paint, and so I'll give that another coat. I think the birdhouse is looking pretty stinking cute so far. I mean, there's not a lot to it, except there's the sketch of Sylvester cat and the purple, but I really am digging this purple. I really like that. So I'm gonna start on Sylvester and start painting him. So I'm actually gonna outline this in Sharpie first, just to get a outline down, um, make it a little easier to see the pencil marks. So let's start on that.
brush and um I broke it. This is the brush the kid actually came with, so <laughs> acrylic paint pink color and I'm gonna do polka dots I hope it turns out I'm not sure this is just craft paint I found it's basically Walmart paint it's apple barrel pretty really really cheap but I think it'll work for what I'm trying to do dry now but I'm actually pretty happy with it yes I know it looks like it belongs in a little kid's room or it's a little kitty and you know what I don't care because I like it I think it's adorable um I love that metallic it's like a it's bronze anyway I think it looks pretty cool with the pink and the purple and it's kind of crazy and I don't know. I feel like it fits my personality pretty well. Ugh. So this Sylvester didn't turn out very well, and we we just kind of not look at him. Um, that's just kind of a big blob. It's yeah, <laughs> but it is the back. It's not gonna get seen as much um, or really ever. Um, but this side I really like. Sylvester looks pretty good. So when I display it, I'll probably kind of have it like at an angle like that. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna paint the bottom of it now. Yes, I know you don't really need to paint it, but I do because I want to. I guess, I don't know. I want it to look finished and everything. I painted the bottom. Um, looks pretty good, I think. And then I varnished it off camera, so it will hopefully hold up good. The paint won't chip off. The back is still drying. Um, gonna let it dry, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's pretty cool, so yeah. <laughs> 